Samara is uh, giving you a quick intro on what's happening this weekend. Everybody is invited to come here, take this mic and uh, tell their idea and look for uh, people to do it with, to realize it with during the weekend. I'm uh, part of Climate Cake, which is a uh, European network uh, working on the topic of climate innovation. The challenge is to develop low carbon and energy efficient solutions for urban transport systems. My name is Daniel and I have been a climate activist for quite some time now. A browser extension, exactly, uh, that when you are on Amazon and you have like your search results and everything, you can immediately see, okay, is this company good or is this company bad? And like uh, have some kind of visual representation of that. My name is Ingo. Um, I work for Greenpeace Argentina. One of the things that is uh, damaging trees worldwide is uh, illegal logging. We've built a small pilot project that is actually live in Argentina, um, which allows uh, people online to monitor um, spots uh, and illegal logging in, in Salta province in the north of Argentina using real satellite images. It would be great to not have that just for Salta, or for Argentina, but to actually have that worldwide. And everybody can help saving the forests and with that the climate. And um, researching, um, yeah, um, everything around cities and climate change at the TU. And I think what's really missing in the whole climate change debate is to make it more local. So to understand um, what is my impact and what can I do in my behavior in my everyday life. Um, I'm Christian from WeGreen. Um, we have a WeGreen traffic light that tells the user basically if a product or a company is um, sustainable or not. We have a lot of data about companies. From my name is Alexander. I come from not Germany, but Moldova. The game called Mega Generation, the game with impact. Who wants to join designing the app? People who think that climate change is a big issue uh, usually don't follow with having a very good understanding of the climate models. Through gaming, they could learn what happens if you change one parameter. Food and groceries are a big reason for the pollution we have in, on our environment, both directly and indirectly. So what we want to build is a mobile shopping assistant. I'm Hanif. It shows the entire globe and the activities going on, which shows red which, when it goes bad, and which shows green when somebody is doing good. My name is Greta, and what I see is that you have economics, you have politics, and you have the people, and this is kind of a circle running straight around, around, and the politics should actually do what people want, and the industry should actually do stuff for the people to have a good life and to give them money that they have a good life. So actually everybody wants to have a good life and wants to have a job, and the politics wants us to be happy or they to be happy, and this is kind of a really strange circle. So I'd like to propose for everybody who is non-technical and doesn't find a challenge today to think about the circle and where we can interrupt in the circle to actually do something really good, to do a climate change impact in this circle, that politics can do a change, that economics can do a change, and in the end, everybody can have a change for us all. <laughs> yeah. Very briefly, EcoCrowd, we are uh, building a crowdfunding platform right now for sustainable projects. So er anybody who pitched an idea, Grab a pen and, you know, find your people. <laughs> okay, let's hack.